Hello everyone, how are you all? So let's answer this question. Is Ayatollah Khamenei a good person? One simple way to compare Imam Khamenei with other leaders is to ask them to expose their bank statements, their assets, how many castles do they own, how many luxuries, private beaches, and so on. Here you will see the real difference between a true leadership and those leadership only hungry for power and money. In this regard, our Islamic leaders have proven themselves. I tell you this story. One day, the national TV asked Imam Khamenei for permission to capture some footages from his humble house. He told them, you are free to do that, but I don't think people would really believe that. See, even his enemies, by the way, have admitted that we cannot find one economic breach in his lifestyle. And this has been the way our scholars live throughout history. Take, for example, Ayatollah Sistani, the second grand Ayatollah, which most Shias follow him. He's been living in a rented house for 40 years, although he receives millions of obligatory charities that Islamically, he is allowed to use some of it for himself, but he doesn't. Instead, he uses it to build hospitals, universities, schools, and spend on the needy. See, for me, for me, that defines the truthfulness or goodness of our leaders. I have this story with only one chain. A friend of mine was present in a ceremony where Imam Khamenei was present. It came the time for dinner, so they prepared to bring food for him and the attendees. When they brought Imam Khamenei's plate, it had rice with meat on it. He immediately told someone to call upon the cook or the one responsible for the food. My friend says in the beginning we thought there is something wrong with his food, but when the one responsible came, Imam Khamenei said, take the meat away from my plate, please. Until the day the poor class of my people cannot eat meat because of the high prices, I cannot eat meat as well. Another story, his son says that our father never agrees for us to buy for him quality fruits. He always tells us bring second degree quality fruit because maybe, maybe some people don't have money to eat quality fruits. My last word is what the Holy Quran says about righteous people. It says, you distinguish them from their faces. Take a look at these photos and ask your heart. Of course, most who dislike him have a core problem with Islam itself. For them, it doesn't matter, Khamenei, Khomeini, or Sistani, or any other scholar to be a leader. They object Islam. For these type of people, the discussion is another discussion.